It's time to play throw the giant pixel into the horizontal line attached to the vertical line, otherwise known as basketball, on the Atari 2600 from 1978. These days, sports games are outdated when they're one year old. But not basketball on the Atari. 30 years old and it still keeps playing. Even if it's a bit rudimentary by today's standards. One on one, there's no teams. Pixel Man versus Pixel Man. It's like Outlaw with a basketball. Yeah, the old school basketball games were really the low point of sports games in my opinion. I think they did a much better job with football, baseball, soccer, certainly hockey. Basketball always seems to get the shaft. They do a really nice job with it these days. NBA Live 10 is, is outstanding. So it's cool to look back at where they started from. The gameplay is, uh, well, amazingly simple. You shoot the ball at the uh, line. And you can also jump and block your opponent's shot. I'm playing a one-player game here. I'm the red man versus the yellow man. That's going to sound offensive no matter how I say it. Also, there's no dunking in this game. Basketball without dunking is like auto racing without explosions, or baseball without drinking, or golf without cheating and infidelity. Given the age of basketball, it's actually not that bad. It's a very playable game. It has... Well, there's only one button on the Atari controller, so it has one button that does uh, pretty much everything, which is shooting and jumping. You uh, run your pixel person underneath the hoop, or the, the uh, line attached to the other line, and shoot the ball, hoping it goes in. You can aim your shot, and this game actually is quite fun with, it, with uh, two players. So if you have some friends over, break out basketball, it's good for a few games. Brings back memories. If you've never played this one, if you were born after... I don't know, 1990, uh, you might, you might want to leave this one alone. But if you remember the good old 70s and video games, basketball and most of the old sports games will not cost you more than... Well, people will pay you to take these games away because they just take up space. Nobody wants them anymore. Yeah, the sports games just are not very collectible. Especially the really old ones. They don't, they don't hold their value like Sword Quest Waterworld or something. Or Yars Revenge. Some of the games that are still really cool and fun to play again, like the arcade titles or the pseudo Atari arcade games. The sports games, whether it's on Atari 2600, Magnavox, Odyssey 2, or any other really old game console, are kind of a mixed bag. Some of them are catchy and fun like an arcade game, others just downright suck. Oh, I thought I was putting up some serious defense there. You hear that crowd noise. Actually, that's just static. I think I saw somebody say once, why do you record games with static? You know, that's not showing the game, that's bad production value. But that, that's actually how we played them back in the day. Wood grain, television, laying on the floor, static, distortion on the screen, sometimes black and white. Yeah, there, there was none of this 720p versus 1080p stuff back then. It was color versus black and white. Which, come to think of it, increases the diversity of basketball. See? This game is everybody covered. Except women. Sadly... The Atari 2600 does win this game, but it's had 30 years to practice. This is basketball on the Atari 2600.